Selena Gomez is a global superstar with a rags to riches story. I've had a lot of people try to tear me down, sure. but I'm here. But did you also know that this young diva has a real estate portfolio to match her success? I have a house there for, you know, if I want to go see family and stuff. Humble beginnings. Selena Gomez didn't always live in the lap of luxury. In fact, the star grew up in a modest home in Grand Prairie, Texas, with her mother, Mandy. Selena's childhood home was a quaint three-bedroom, two-bathroom house just 20 minutes from the heart of Dallas, and is today said to be worth around $174,000. Times were tough, and as Selena told E! Magazine in 2011, her childhood was a far cry from where she is now. She says, I remember my mom would run out of gas all of the time, and we'd sit there and have to go through the car and get quarters and help her get gas. Sounds rough. Well, I, I try to go there um, often just because it's, um, it's nostalgic for me. Encino property. And my oh my did things turn around for Selena. The young star now owns several properties, and her latest acquisition is a multi-million dollar mansion in Encino, a posh neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. The sprawling property features 11,500 square feet of interior space and a backyard to die for, complete with outdoor kitchen, pool, and balconies. The home boasts six bedrooms total, two of which are master suites with their own balconies, and 10, that's right, 10 bathrooms. The home also has a spacious living room with skylights for sun-filled days, and a ceiling to floor fireplace for chilly nights. Selena also has her own in-house recording studio, where the diva can pen hits without ever having to leave the comfort of her own home. Um, this is how basically I write or work on music that needs to be worked on. There's also a private yoga studio, massage room, and a fully equipped gym, making us all wonder why Selena ever leaves the house to begin with. Just leave. The house burnt to the ground. But did you know this mansion actually burned to the ground? That's right. Selena's stunning pad has a somewhat long, dark history. The house was previously owned by the late Tom Petty, and on the morning of May 29, 1987, Petty was eating breakfast with his family when his daughter smelled and discovered a fire rapidly eating its way through the house. The house burned down completely and all was lost. After costly renovations, the house eventually ended up in the hands of Jane Benyo, Petty's ex-wife, as a part of the dissolved couple's divorce settlement. Jane later tried to sell the house for $3.5 million, but there were no takers, and it was eventually foreclosed on and rented to a tenant who, not only threw wild parties, but refused to leave the property, leading to a SWAT team kicking down doors and forcefully removing him. Woo! Selena girl, you sure you're okay in there? But eventually the house changed owners, and our gal snapped it up for a cool $4.9 million. Texas Retreat but Selena has always remained true to her Texas roots. For some reason, I wanted to go back to my middle school. I wanted to go back to my childhood home, which I do often. And her 2015 acquisition of this 10,000 square foot Montserrat Palace, a suburb of Fort Worth, Texas, proves it. The estate is amongst the most expensive properties in Fort Worth, coming in at $3.5 million and is beautifully designed in English style and with stone. The house has five bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms, and it boasts some truly awesome amenities, including a game room and private movie theater. The master suite features a sitting area, soaking tub, and all the calming effects needed after a multi-continental tour. With Selena's schedule, tranquility is key. The last part of my routine is my unwinding process. Stainless steel appliances and a massive island fill the lovely kitchen space and we can imagine it being the perfect place to entertain a Southern down-home style dinner party true to Selena's Texas roots. Outdoor space. But as beautiful as the home is on the inside, its exterior is truly jaw-dropping. Imagine having a putting green, sports court, and resort-style pool with water slide on premises. You're passing out just thinking about it? So are we. Eww. The landscape is meticulously manicured, and is overall the perfect place to both get away and relax and to entertain guests. There's a two-door garage that can fit not only two, but six vehicles at once, making it the perfect docking spot for Selena's luxury cars, like her Bentleys. However, the pop star didn't hang on to the estate for very long. She sold it for around $2.7 million after just a little over a year of ownership. Calabasas Oasis 
Thanks to the Kardashians, the world knows about Calabasas and its super luxe, ever-rising real estate market. It is now a go-to spot for celebs when picking out a Los Angeles abode, and Selena proved to be no different. In 2014, the singer snapped up a 7,800-square mansion for $3.7 million. Not long after buying the house did Selena break things off with then-boyfriend Justin Bieber. Was the home a it's-too-late-to-say-sorry purchase, we wonder? This mansion was certainly a step up from Selena's starter home in Tarzana. More on that later. There are plenty of entertainment spaces and even a wine cave for soirees and parties. The house has five bedrooms and six bathrooms, and the master suite is really something to write home about, with a spa-style bath and steam shower. It also features a lovely seating area and an enormous walk-in closet, ready to receive all the designer goodies. Of course, the mansion has its own private movie theater and top-notch security in the form of a nine-foot-high detection fence and security cameras. And it's easy to understand why. Not long after Selena moved in, a trespasser broke into the compound. Luckily, they were caught and charged with a felony. Backyard Bliss If you notice a pattern of great home means great yard, that's because there is one. And in the case of this Calabasas Palace, there is plenty of space to roam outdoors. The estate sprawls across three acres and features a sunken patio, dining cabana, and even an outdoor kitchen with brick oven for outside meals and parties in an enclosed courtyard. But the house didn't stay in Selena's hands for too long. The singer-actor sold it in 2015 to rapper French Montana for $3.3 million, a real price drop from what Selena had paid. We imagine it didn't hurt the star's pockets too much. Tarzana House But let's go way back to Baby's first mansion. Selena acquired her first Lux home from Jonah Hill in 2011 at just 19 years old for $2.2 million. The home features an elegant open floor plan, five bedrooms and eight bathrooms, and five fireplaces for those unbearable LA winters. That's a joke. And another dreamy feature? The large bathroom with a standalone tub for long soaks. Outside the home is a picturesque garden, visible from the main seating areas, making it a perfect place to just hang and take in the view. This space wouldn't be complete without its multi-purpose media room, complete with a wet bar, pool table, modern fixtures, and French doors. Not to mention there's a guest house on premises with a private entrance, two bathrooms, and gourmet kitchen. Outside is the swimming pool, yoga pavilion, cabana, and barbecue bar. Hmm, and another yoga space. We're seeing a theme here, Selena. In 2014, Selena sold the house to Iggy Azalea for a little under $3.5 million. Flipping the Jonah Hill House And while the two can appreciate the nice garden and fine architecture of the place, their similarities end there. Selena took what was Jonah's farmhouse style with plaid fixtures and turned the pad into a beige, gray, and neutral palette beauty with more upscale finishes like sparkling chandeliers. Bachelor pad out, go Mazzinian style in. But before Selena set out on her own, the diva was living in a condo on her parents' property in Encino, California. Now that's what we call stepping it up. Studio City Haven Since even the old days of Hollywood, Studio City has been a desirable place for stars to make home. And we know that Selena's heart just leapt when she saw this gorgeous 3,188-square-foot house that was built in 1951. Before selling her Texas abode, the singer snatched up the property for $2.2 million. There are four bedrooms and four bathrooms, and two walk-in closets. Skylights show off the space in all its glory, including the beautiful brick fireplace and wainscoted detailed walls. And the kitchen is combined with an open floor living space to create the perfect hosting environment. Selena really made the place her own with boho chic influences and even a funky neon sign. The master suite is a total oasis and features one of those large walk-in closets, making it the perfect place to just relax. Outside, you can find a stone-edged pool and barbecue area that is truly the stuff of dreams. But maybe not enough for Selena, though, as she put the house on the market in 2019 for $2.79 million. Home Gym Fit for a Star But before parting with this darling pad, we know Selena made good use of this full-service gym. This space is fully equipped with a seated window area for in-between workout breaks and floor-to-ceiling mirrors. It's obvious Selena takes her fitness seriously, and we can only imagine that the space has to be pretty seriously great, too. That's it. One thing's for certain. Wherever she finds herself, 
Selena is always able to make a home warm and beautiful. And with a story as inspiring as hers, we know she deserves it. But tell us, which of Selena's properties is your favorite? Leave us a comment and don't forget to hit subscribe for all celebrity news from The Thing Celebrity.